Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here. Today we're going to be looking at four consoles from Amazon. We've got the Leapfrog Rocket Twist, we've got the Disney Frozen Compact Cyber Arcade, Console Color Planes, and lastly, Cyber Arcade Mini. What are the Game Boys of today like? Let's check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and guess that the majority of these are definitely aimed to towards children. Maybe with the exception of this one, potentially this could just be a gift for your dad or your mum or something like that. Um, but because it's going to be very inexpensive, uh, I'll put all the prices of each of them up on the screen. Because it's so inexpensive and the games are cheap and cheerful and it's a pretty you know, aesthetic looking little device, this one also could be played by kids, but I think the majority of these are kids games. This one that we're gonna leave till last, it looks very interesting, it's got loads of different bloody inputs and bells and whistles, so I'm looking forward to having a look at that one, but let's quickly smash through these three things first. I'm fairly certain they're all gonna be relatively similar. So let's take a look at the Frozen one first, because I know that the majority of you absolutely loved uh, Disney Frozen. This is made by Lexibook, and I think all of these are. Uh, yep, Lexibook and Lexibook. So I have a feeling these are going to be fairly similar. But what really interested me about these, these two in particular, is it actually says that there are 10 Planes games and 10 Frozen games. So I'm actually really excited to see if those 10 games are full on original games or if they're going to be the same and they're just going to have different sprites for the different characters and stuff. But um, there we go. Let's take a quick look. So we've got on the back here the on and off button, the volume button, the speaker. It's got a 2.5 inch LCD and there's 140 classic games on there as well as the 10 additional Frozen games. I don't really know what to expect, but let's just take a look. So this is the first Game Boy of today. I guess you could call it a Game Boy of today. Wait a minute. I hope this comes with batteries. Piss. Well, there's the first difference. Back in the day, Nintendo weren't that stingy that they didn't include batteries with their consoles. But uh, yeah, that's a bit of a disappointment, actually, because if you bought this in a shop or your kid did, they're going to want to play it in the car and it's not come with batteries and it's got a bloody screwdriver required to get the batteries out. But maybe that's for safety if the kid's not chewing it. But here it is. Let's peel off the screen protector. Lovely. Oh, Surely there's another screen protector on there because look how scratched that is. Can you see that? Also, is that a fingerprint there? Nice. Okay, much better. So, very cheap. I can immediately see it's very, very cheap. You've got two action buttons which are on top of each other and they feel really, really horrible. We've got a D-pad which feels equally as horrible. Honestly, the whole thing is so spongy. Like, spongy is definitely the word to describe it. Um, that's going to get scratched immediately. I reckon just with fingerprints it's going to get scratched. Also, this is a kid's toy, so the second that gets left face down on anything, it's going to not end well. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Boom. So it immediately loads up, saying Compact Cyber Arcade. A uh, bit weird that they've gone for cyber. Cyber just seems like the wrong word to put in this. Maybe I'm wrong. So we've got our games all of a sudden, and... Lovely to see, when you press the D-pad, the screen has lots of issues on it, and I reckon if you press that too hard, the screen will probably crack. So, that's off to a bad start. Here we have our 10 Frozen exclusives. So let's just go ahead and play the first one, which is Winter Magic. Ah, okay. Well, that is some sort of a, uh, sort of a Dr. Mario ripoff type thing. Yep, so that is definitely not a Frozen exclusive, really. They've just sort of put Olaf a skin around the back. So let's play the next one, Snow Fight. Here we go. <laughs> right, we've got Eternal Winter. Okay, so yeah, this is another reskinned game. I can't remember the real name for it, the original name for it. Yeah, not exactly another exclusive, really. Uh, what is this one? Oh, okay, you've just got to find out where he is. So, I mean, look, they're not exactly exclusives, exactly what I was thinking it was going to be. Uh, it's just a sort of a reskinned thing uh, that loosely looks like their original games. Also, weirdly, if you press the D-pad in certain ways, 
See there? Did you see that? Look, it's just going up. Can you see that there? When I'm pressing sideways, it's going up. So that's not great. Um, right, let's play one of the other games, the classic games. Here we go. We'll try and find a classic. Let's play it Spring Bros, because that's got bros in it. Ah, okay, that's nothing to do with Super Mario. Kind of hoping it was going to be a copyright dodging Super Mario game. But no, you just have to sort of catch the stuff in a spring and get it over to... Oh, it's kind of like a... Uh, this is like a kind of Game & Watch game. Actually, I'd be really impressed if this is an original game. I've never seen this sort of thing before, so maybe it is. But yeah, you know what? This is pretty decent. If I remember correctly, this was around sort of 20 pounds. And uh, this is good. The colors on the screen look great. The viewing angles are great. Not that that's really gonna make any difference because ultimately this is gonna be played by a very, very young person who is not exactly gonna critique its viewing angles of the screen. But yeah, you know what? I could find a bit of enjoyment playing this. Uh, I would play this more often uh, if it didn't have the Frozen. In fact, no, I would play it more because it's plastered in Frozen logos. Moving on to the next one, which I imagine is going to be exactly the same as the one we've just looked at. This is the Planes console. I think they've cut a few corners when it's come to designing this one. Uh, console Color Planes. Three words that don't quite work in that order. Um, but let's take a look at it. Already noticing some interesting things. This one is rechargeable also. Look at how fast. Thin that is, my word, that feels like I'm holding an iPhone. In fact, it's probably the exact same size as an iPhone. Wow, that's really impressive. And we've got a micro USB cable. Right, power button. Oh. Hello, we're in. Okay, so yeah, this one looks pretty similar. I can't imagine it's going to be too dissimilar. We've still got the weird sort of action buttons on top of each other thing, which I imagine will make some people sick. We've got our individual volume buttons up here. We've got our reset and a power button. D-pad feels better. That's definitely good. Okay, so let's find our planes exclusive games. How do we find them? Okay, there they are. So the planes games are here. Let's play the first one, Dusty's Challenge. Here we go. It's a sort of a flight game. We like those ones. Oh, oh, this is like plane, like paper planes. You know the, uh, do you remember the DSiWare game? Oh, that brings back memories. That, yeah, that's that's good. That works really, really well actually. And uh, yeah, it's it's the same the same plane, or at least it's the same colours as the one that's actually on the device. So uh, the kids would like that one, I'm sure. I certainly do. So uh, yeah, that's really good. I like that. I will actually play that off camera more. Ball bladder, or oh, ball blaster, <laughs> ball blaster. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, this is, yeah, this is just a reskinned game. Yeah, that's nothing too impressive. I mean, it's still a fun game, don't get me wrong. But when you're trying to say that something's a uh, an exclusive, that's not really an exclusive. That's a game that's been around for a very long time. So yeah. But still very effective. The colors are all good. You've got the same plane here, so that's, that's the same sprite as the last game, I'm pretty certain. So that one works well. Find El Chapacra or Chapa. El. Find El Chapac. Chapacabra. El Chapacabra. Find El Chapacabra. Here we go. The common game we're all familiar with. Oh, it's the exact same thing as before on the Frozen one. You just move it around and you have to try and find where he is. I have no idea what's going on with this one. How do you even play this game? Right, let's get away from that one. So let's try and play one of these classic games. So besides the planes tab, you have action, classic, sport, and strategy. So let's take a look then at one that is, I think, a classic game, uh, which is Sky Heroes, or at least that's what they've called it. And uh, as you will see, that is a game that we are very, very familiar with. And I'm sure you can see it's running very, very well. It looks fantastic. The colors are absolutely exceptional. The viewing angle is great. I'm obviously keeping it nice and flat so that you can see it on this uh, camera up here, but I can see it perfectly at the level that I'm looking at right now. So that's great. The colors are absolutely excellent and vibrant. The brightness is 
perfect. I've got lots of studio lights all over the place and uh, the screen is still very nice and clear. So this is actually very good. Let's click reset and go over to, uh, let's come off of the classic games because we know they're all gonna be pretty similar. Let's have a look at Hungry Bird on action. Oh my God, this is another sort of DSiWare game. What was that game called? P P Poro Poro or something? Oh, you'll have to let me know in the comments what that was called. But I love that game and this is exactly the same. So they're definitely taking a bit of inspiration from uh, pre-existing games, but that's fine because these are fantastic. These were some of my favorite games. Oh man, I could actually play this for ages. That is really, really good. I really like this console, you know, and I think this one was 23 pounds or something like that. So for 20 quid, you know, it has to be said, and this is a really important point of this video, these I actually think are better than those crappy things that look good, uh, which just play poorly emulated NES ROMs. At least this is like, you know, original sort of stuff, which is far, far better than poorly emulated NES ROMs, in my opinion. That is absolutely excellent. Let's play one more game and then we'll have a look at the next one. Let's have a look at Delivery Man. Oh. Right, it's fair to say not all the games are good. Let's have a look at Cyber Arcade Mini. So this is a 1.8 inch LCD, and I'm telling you now, if these games that are on the dusty one are on here, this is gonna be my new pocket daily carry, although I very much doubt it. Cyber Arcade Mini, eight games, which is a huge downgrade from the 150 that we had before. 1.8 inch LCD, speaker, on off and reset button. And uh, you know what? This is pretty decent packaging. It looks very aesthetic and simple. There are no batteries and it requires a screwdriver. They are cut in corners, but this was I think about 13 pounds, which uh, compared to the Nintendo's Game Boy uh, from 1989, which was I think around 89 pounds actually, uh, that's a lot cheaper. So that has to be uh, a point to be made. Oh, wow, it's got a really nice weight to it once those triple A's get in there. No. Okay, so we've got a little uh, screen protector thing on the front there. Look at that little thing. Oh, there we go. Just have to give the batteries a little twist. That's all right, it's authentic to the original. Okay, so game list. We've got Diamond, Panda, Road Fighter, Ice Hockey. Jeez, this screen's insane. Look at the viewing angles of that screen. That's absolutely excellent. It looks like one of those Kindle screens, you know, with just infinite viewing angles. You can see it from behind. Um, so Diamond Panda, Road Fighter, Ice Hockey, Submarine, Aether, Ether, Ether Mission, Mine, Box World, Diamond, pa oh, we're back to the start again. Jeez, wow, so we've got two lists of games. Good God, I hope they're good. Okay, we'll start off with Diamond, and at least on this one, we've got the action buttons in a sort of diagonal. Uh, so, A. No, start. Oh, okay. Oh, good lord. This is all right. Okay, let's press the reset button. Uh, we'll have a look next at Panda. This is the most painful game I've ever played in my life. Oh, dear. Right. Let's try and forget that happened. Right, Road Fighter, here we go. First proper racing game of the lot. It's B to accelerate. We're off to a bad start. Excellent music choice. Oh. 
Oh dear lord. I mean, it's fun, but the the music's dog. Shh. Um, yeah, that one is bad. I would definitely spend the extra ten pounds and buy Dusty. I'm not even going to take a look at any more of the games. They are weak. They are a weak selection of games. Not a big fan of that one. Definitely do not recommend that one. Go for Dusty so far. Last, but certainly not least, we have the Leapfrog Rocket Twist, which I am very excited for. And this thing was very expensive. I think it was like 30 pounds. Um, four sides of controls, including a spinner, a switch, a D-pad, and dials, uh, which provide unique gameplay. It certainly does. That's why I was interested in it. It's definitely marketed at kids, but let's see if it's any good. D-pad. Oh, don't go into the cactuses. I've lost the heart. I want a game that uses all of the different things. Let's have a look at Memory Match. This is going to be very, very boring for all of you watching, and the audience retention will drop off. Whoa! It rotates round! Whoa, okay, I see. I forgot, like, where they were. Okay, the bonsai tree and the spades under that one. What's under this one? A pizza. Oh, there's the tree. Here we go. Oh, just thrilling. The f most fun I have had, how do we turn this thing off? The most fun I have had has been on this one, the Lexibook Dusty. Turn this off, come on. Please leave me alone. Stop with your noises. Bye-bye. Yeah, goodbye. This has definitely been the most amount of fun I've had. In fact, I'm going to go as far as to say I would actually recommend you go out and buy this. I would probably prefer it if it didn't have Dusty's plane on it, but... Oh... That's now exposed the bare screen. Maybe I should put that back down again. Look, I would definitely go out and recommend that you buy this. Um, I will leave an affiliate link to all of them below, but realistically, I recommend this one or this one if uh, you enjoy lots of visual things and moving things and lots of sounds and colors and lights and stuff. It's an incredibly high quality device. I don't know why I bought it. Um, it's aged for four to 10 years old. Uh, so that was not gonna be fun from the get go, but I could definitely see how it would be fun for a little girl, as long as they don't have um, OCD, because that little speck of dust under there is enough to bother anyone. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Little bit of a different one. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I don't really know if I like the Frozen one or not. I need to spend more time with it. And this one is definitely not very good at all. But Dusty, rechargeable battery, super thin form factor, lots of fun games. If someone can make a skin for it and cover up that uh, and the back, we'd be halfway there. So big thank you to everyone for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Oh, you can at least remove the back. If you don't like the Dusty stuff, you can at least remove the back. Although I'm now left with... A lot of adhesive. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.